up. The rendezvous point is the shingle at the top of the beach. Use those those depilates and keep moving. Do not stop until you reach the shingle. Clear the boat! Go! 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 Yes, sir. We have to silence those 88s. Sergeant, round up your men. All right, listen up. First squad, prepare to move out. That's done. 88 battery destroyed. Excellent job, men. Sergeant Conti, get on the radio. Tell HQ our draw is clear for the tanks to come ashore. Secure the perimeter and dig in. Inform Dog Company that we are in position and waiting for them to come offshore.
700 men died that morning on that uh, tiny strip of sand. Another 1,500 wounded, 300 missing, dragged under the waves. Pearson, Williams, Krasinski. All good men. By sunset, over 156,000 men had come ashore. The invasion had begun. Or, as my CEO used to say, hell opened its gates. The night before, the largest airborne operation in history dropped three divisions of paratroopers behind enemy lines. And their objective was to seize major roadways and prevent a counterattack that could jeopardize the entire invasion. Success on D-Day depended entirely on these men. Dann fressen es unter aller Kanone. Ich werde diesen Fressen nicht essen. Bin ich deine Mutter, Arschloch? Dann koch doch dein eigenes Fressen. <lacht> Hunter. Flash. Is this everyone? For now, we're scattered all to hell. <laughs> that anti-aircraft gun. Let's move out. This road leads straight to our beachhead at Omaha. The landings will not succeed unless we control this road. To do this, we'll need to capture these strategic points. German patrols have been spotted along this road. We'll need some heavy weapons to take them out. 
Aerial recon shows that the Germans have a weapons depot here. We might be able to raid it for some more firepower. A convoy from the 91st Grenadier Division is moving down this road. Our job is to stop them. Recon puts the convoy a few clicks out, so we don't have much time. Use the bunker and anti-aircraft guns to create a kill zone and ambush the convoy. Setting up obstacles and mines will hold the Germans right where we want them. All right. Our boys will hit the beach in a few hours, and they're going to need this road cleared of enemy movement. Secured from here to Omaha Beach. Oh, Babel Company appreciates what we've done for him, sir. They will, Sergeant Kuroda. They will. The airborne landings were scattered all across their drop zones. Units were separated. It was chaos. It took some men three days to find their outfits. And some, some were never found. But even so, they took the Germans completely by surprise and secured all roads to the beaches. Their next objective was the crossroad town of Carantan that linked Omaha and Utah beaches. the Axis from driving a wedge between the Allied beachheads, the town of Carantan must be captured. We will approach from the north and move into the center of town. The church is our first objective. Once we take the church, it'll serve as our field HQ. Now, we expect the 6th Fallschirmjager Regiment to fanatically defend the town square. When we secure the square, Carantan will be under our control. Yankees and Cubs, Game 1, 38 World Series, Lefty Gomez was the winning pitcher. Hey, Lewis, aren't you a lefty too? So who do you think it was? Yeah, I don't know, roughing maybe? Oh, great, I love a man with conviction. Well, hell, I don't know. My kid brother would, though. He's a damn baseball encyclopedia. I guess being dull runs in the family. Ain't that right. All right, pipe down and spread out. And keep your eyes open, people. We're entering enemy territory. Okay, the church is our objective. If our intel is right, there's going to be crowd MGs defending it. 
We can expect some pretty heavy fire coming from these locations. Use satchel charges or heavy weapons to blow these buildings. Let's use the buildings to cover our advance and try to flank the Germans. Understood? Once we have eliminated all resistance and occupied the church, we can establish a field barracks. This will allow us to call in reinforcements. Remember, keep moving and let's take that church as fast as possible. Elements of the 6th Fallschirmjager Regiment have set up a strong point here at the center of Carentan. Our job is to clear them out of there and capture the town hall. The Germans will be expecting us, so count on the main road being defended and fortified. Might be worth probing their flanks for another way in. We'll need reinforcements before we make our push. Our supply is pretty limited now. We can improve it by securing the strategic points around the church. Good luck. Lay down some mortar fire on that wire to clear the road! Wasting ammo. The war's not over. Nineteen forty-three. That was a nice year. Want some? <laughs> Wait your turn. Hey, hey. Huh? I'm gonna assume that's grape juice, Sergeant. Absolutely, sir. Grape juice. Well, it was grape juice about a year ago. <laughs> The 17th SS Panzer Division is mobilizing to retake Carentan. We just have one job to do here. Hold the town. They need the bridges. We have to defend them. MG emplacements, mines, and wire obstacles at these points will hold off the Krauts for a while. We have a couple of 57mm AT guns to cover the approaches into the town. We'll need to keep them safe. Engineers have established a field barracks at the town hall and the church. We can call in reinforcements from these locations at any time. Strategic points have been spotted across the river at these positions. Capture them. The Jerry's will want Carantan back, so let's dig in and make them pay for it. What do you see? I got movement on the edge of town! AT crew standing by. Here they come. Thanks. Hey. 
train. Looks like Able Company's finally arrived. It's about time, fellas. We started to think maybe you boys got lost. Yeah, well, we got a little hung up on the beach. Looks like the last of Able Company is all here. Baker and Dog Companies are about an hour out. We should have forces. First Army is marching north up the Cotonan Peninsula, so securing a supply line to Cherbourg is our new objective. It's been codenamed the Red Ball Express. Abel and Dog Companies will penetrate down this road as far as possible and secure it. During the advance, our flanks will be exposed. This area has a lot of walled courtyards and hedgerows, so watch for ambush. Extend the advance. All right, we'd better go bail their asses out. Dog, this is Abel. Hang in there, Bishop. We're on our way. Saddle up, people. We're moving out. Listen up. Dog Company was ambushed. Captain Bishop has requested our support. The survivors are holding out under heavy fire. We need to relieve them. Get a combat group together and move out now. Dog won't last long out there. Allied Field HQ is located here. Set up a base of operations and call in reinforcements. All right, Abel. Word from HQ is that it's up to us to clear the road to Cherbourg. This should be a simple operation. At least one of these two roads must be secured. That means moving up and setting up defenses to cover the Red Ball Express. Use engineers to expand our base and call in additional reinforcements. Without this road, the Red Ball Express isn't going anywhere. Let's get to work. Base is taking... some wheels and get moving. Sir, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, Conti. Never mind. Let's go. The Red Ball Express meant priority freight. Lots of it. We must have trucked a million tons of supplies up that goddamn road. But Jerry wasn't about to let his keyport city go without a fight. And fight he did.
The 9th and 79th will be making the attack from the south, supported by the 4th Cav. Abel and Dog companies will be central to the assault, striking directly at the main docks. This will be the most heavily defended part of the city. We can expect some heavy resistance. getting shot at first. No, Johnson, it's not Abel. It's just you up front getting shot at first. Shut up. You're gonna get us all killed. Cherbourg is surrounded. They know it and we know it, but the Krauts Division won't surrender. The USS Texas is waiting offshore to provide fire support. To allow it to come within range, we need to destroy the coastal gun battery located here. But first, we need to capture this square so the engineers can set up a forward base of operations. We're hitting one of our forward places, trying to take our territory. Artillery support is waiting the get-go. The Germans are on their heels. We're gonna need to drive hard all the way to their main garrison at the port facility and take it out. War's over, let's go. Sergeant Conti, HQ has something special for us. We're moving out. I've been told we captured over 40,000 German prisoners in Cherbourg. It was hard to accept that we fought so hard for this port, and all we got was a huge ruin. The Germans had destroyed it so badly that it was months before we could use it. Taking the city did have its perks, though. Hidden in a bunker, we found secret Nazi documents. Here are schematics of the actual V-2 rocket itself. The launch base is hidden in a valley to the south near the town of Sadevast. It appears to be half buried in the hillside and is still under construction. The launch platform itself is heavily defended, ruling out a direct bomber strike. Therefore, this will be an airborne operation. After nightfall, we will land paratroopers within the perimeter walls of the base and assault the launch platform on foot. This is a highly dangerous mission. 
Godspeed. Our main target is the V2 launch platform located here. Planting demolition charges will create a chain reaction, destroying the base. The base is protected by anti-aircraft guns. These limit where we can drop our paratroopers. Take out those guns quickly to open up our drop zones. To ensure our supply lines, we'll need a secondary attack here at the main entrance. Understand, we will have no base of operations. This means we need to raid enemy depots to capture heavy weapons. Let's get to it. It was disturbing to see how far advanced the Nazi war machine had come. Smart as our guys were, we had nothing like this. With Cherbourg secured, Supreme Allied Command has identified our next priority, the crossroad town of St. Lo. Now the only place we can cross the River Veer is right here. Unfortunately, we have very limited intelligence on this area. Abel Company will move in after dawn. The 38th SS Panzer Grenadier has blown the only bridge into St. Germain. Without it, division can't push forward. It's Abel's job to get the engineers in there and bring that bridge back into play. Once the bridge is up, it'll have to be protected. This means pushing the 38th back out of St. Germain. By flanking the town, we should be able to force the Krauts into a pocket around the town square, here. Then it's just a matter of clearing the square and capturing this strategic point. Able Company now controls St. Fermont. Recon shows heavy troop movements in this area. And rocket batteries have been spotted here. We can expect a counterattack from the 38th SS at any moment. The town square cannot fall to the enemy.
It's gonna cost us, but we have to hold them back. This bridgehead is critical to our advance. We have lost contact with Charlie Company. Their orders were to take Hill 192. They failed. We know that the elite Panzer Lair Division has been assigned to defend St. Lowe. Panzer Ace Joseph Gunter Schultz has been spotted in the area. Before we can take St. Lowe, Abel Company needs to capture Hill 192. What's the matter, Franks? You ever seen a dead body before? For three days, our division has been trying to capture Hill 192. The German 352nd Grenadier holds it. We're gonna take it. The hedgerows are heavily defended. This means we'll be clawing our way uphill under intense fire, so watch your flanks. That's not all. The 352nd is reinforcing from these towns. If we can secure these areas, it'll stop them from attacking our line of advance. Expect these two roads to be well defended. Avoid them for as long as you can. Taking Hill 192 won't be easy. Charlie Company was wiped out trying to take this hill. Now it's up to us. Good luck, Abel. Now that we have Hill 192, we are in position to take St. Lowe. Recon indicates the town is already in very bad shape, and the Germans are going to be dug in deep. There will be a lot of cover and obstacles in this terrain.
What's left of the Kraut 352nd has made St. Lo a fortress city. The entire town center is a concentrated defensive ring. MG, anti-tank, and entrenched infantry positions have been reported along with armor from the Panzer Lear Division. By cutting off the Germans, we'll force them to try and break out or surrender. Either way, Abel gets to break a hard nut. First up, we'll need a base of operations. Garrison one of these nearby buildings and set it up as a field barracks. morning, the 8th Air Force carpet bombed the Panzer Lair Division to the brink of extinction. The surviving Panther tanks are withdrawing. Abel Company, supported by the 4th Cav, will be pursuing them. To counter the heavily armored Panther tanks, we've been supplied with M10 tank destroyers. Panzer Lear took a beating this morning, but its Panther tanks are still operational and a threat to us. Air recon shows the Panthers were last spotted in this area, and we can presume they're waiting for us. We're outgunned here, and those Panthers have the element of surprise, so proceed with caution. Once we've located the Panthers, use Shermans and infantry to draw them out, and then deploy the M10 tank destroyers to flank them. We have a secured site. The area is not secure. Set up a defensive perimeter now. Spencer.
Medic! We need a fucking medic! Some officers never earn your respect. Captain McKay had mine from day one. Boot camp, Fort Riley, Kansas. I knew he'd keep us alive. We're being redeployed off the front lines to the town of Mortain. We will relieve Dog Company, who are holding Hill 317. Lieutenant Conti is now in command. Taggart. Hey, listen. Conti. Sorry about McKay. I heard you guys served together since boot camp back in Kansas. Try and get some R&R in &R this hill. Should be a piece of cake. Taggart, let's go. over here. Okay, it's pretty simple. We gotta hold Hill 317 till 0630. We need to set up a defensive perimeter. Dog Company put some emplacements in, but nobody's manning those positions now. Let's get some squads out there. Once our perimeter's established, we need to fortify the town of Mortain. And that's all. Dog Company will be here with armor and hopefully coffee at 0630. So much for the cakewalk. We have elements of the 2nd Panzer Division moving in. Okay, we cannot lose this hill. It just can't happen. We gotta hold the line or all hell's gonna break loose. Our secondary objective is to hold the town of Mortain. If we lose Mortain, we'll be completely surrounded. God damn it, just hold out till dawn.
Okay, now we got reinforcements, we're gonna push those krauts off our damn hill. If we capture and hold these strategic points, those panzers won't have no choice but to retreat. Okay, enough talking, let's get to work. Those 88s are pounding us in a hamburger. Knocking them out would make this day go a hell of a lot smoother. Okay, listen up. A carton of smoke for whoever puts the kibosh on those damn 88s. Captain Schultz survived the destruction of the Panzer Lair Division. Battle reports show his Tiger Group and has knocked out 17 Allied tanks and destroyed Baker Company. With those Tigers in position, we can't cut off the German retreat. He must be removed. Columns of vehicles from the 2nd Panzer Division are escaping through this town. Baker Company's last report was that they were engaging Schultz's Tiger Gruppen. This means the Tiger Ace is defending the town. We need to take him out. It won't be easy to get a kill shot. He most likely has heavy Panzer support. Now if we can take down Schultz, the Krauts will be finished here. Second squad, take the left flank. Keep your eyes open. First squad, on me. Hey guys, wasn't this Schultz the one who killed the captain? Yeah, didn't he almost kill you too, Lieutenant? Shut the fuck up, Cunningham. Shutting up, sir. All right, there's nothing to see here. We're moving out. That guy was one tough crowd. Destroyed. We'll be 
on station. Call us anytime. Troop convoys from the German 7th Army are retreating along these roads. This is their last escape route. It's our job to close it. To cut them off, we gotta link our territory with the Canadians and the Polish to our north. As we advance, secure these bridges. This'll bottleneck the Germans and slow down their retreat. All right, Abel Company, this is it. Down, down. Recon tells us we have incoming panzers. They're gonna try to break through our lines. We've closed the fillet's pocket. Before we break out the cigars, we got some more work to do. Those panzers are the last of the German resistance. If we can knock them out, the German 7th Army is as good as dead. We must keep the roads open! We've secured all the bridges. The Krauts are cut off. How come they get to celebrate and we get stuck with this bum job? Relax, Tagger. Let them have their fun. They earned it. Besides, look at all these new friends you have. You just have to get to know them better, that's all. Hi everyone, please like and follow OG Pac-Man Gaming FB page and subscribe to our OG Pac-Man Gaming YouTube channel. Thanks and love lots!